welcome back. Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, mm -mm -mm. Stanley. Uh, we coming in with Power Book 2, Ghost, the season finale, episode 10, Love and War, baby. Yeah. Before we even get into this, did y'all think it gave what it was supposed to be given? Did, I'm just going to let that, just drop that down in the I, comments I'm, before we even get started. I'm going to say that it was a really, really, really good uh, season finale, but in my opinion, it could have been stronger. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah. But before we even get into it, thank you all for everyone that came over and was participating with us live when we were over there on Lamont Tyson's channel. It was a freaking blast. Yeah, we had a great thank time. Thank you, Lamont, for having us. Listen, yes, indeed, bro. The Appreciate gems it. and the jewels that we took away from that live is yeah. going to forever change. It's priceless. What we're going to do on this channel. So y'all just be looking out for us to change some things up because, listen, <laughs> when you have something that powerful yeah. going on and these energies meet like that, mm -hmm. you can't come out of it and still remain the same. Exactly. So we just want to say that thank you all. Thank yeah, you all we for appreciate coming it, over. Yeah, we got we a do. blast. Y'all ask about our shirts every week because we yeah. are the king and queens of graphic tees. Most of the time, our graphic tees come from Power in Black. We're going to leave a link below. You can save 25% off of your purchase by typing in my name as your code, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E. -E. Yeah. It'll all be down below. But yeah, catch you some because we I ain't for everybody. Yeah. Beer gang, gang. bang. So we're just going to get right on into this. So the episode kicks off. We see Monet and Mecca, the global snitch, <laughs> on a yacht. And he comes out and he gives her what looks like a diamond necklace. And she was like, here you go again with all these gifts. Seem like you got this all planned out, yada, yada. He just got a plan in this movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, he was, so he was like, yeah, I've been working on this for years, you know, because I had to get my nay-nay back. Hey, I like what he said. Yeah, nay, get my nay-nay <laughs> back. So, we remember last week when they were in his penthouse and Monet was like, yeah, this was Lorenzo was trying to kill us and we need to kill Lorenzo. So, that conversation comes up again on the yacht, but Dante starts backpedaling and acting like, nah, this ain't going to be the time. Matter of fact, we need to get Kane to do it. Wait. Wait, 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 what? Last week, you were supposed to be the one that's supposed to take out Lorenzo, not mm -hmm. Kane. And she was, and um, Monet was like, nah, you, you was the one that's supposed to have been doing it. And Mecca was like, nah, Kane needs to do it so we can find out if he's 100. But like, the only one that's not 100 in this equation is, <laughs> is, you. is you, player. You're the one that's not 100. And so Monet was like, well, I'll get Kane to do it because he'll do whatever I say. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, he will. But I'm so sick and tired of how they're doing my boy. Yeah. Like they use him as the guard dog. Like he's the one, he's he's the he's the killer for real, for real. Yeah. But don't be disrespecting him like that. As soon as he don't do what you want him to do, then he back out in the streets, gotta yep. find his own crew. Yep. Then when he don't <laughs> need him back because the stuff ain't going as planned, then you pull him back in. So now you pulling rank again, Thomas he's gonna do whatever I say. I mean, it is true, but I don't like how they keep disrespecting Kane. Like right, that. but we shouldn't. We shouldn't expect it more of of, of Mecca to, to to back out on doing what he said he was gonna mm -hmm. do, because I mean, after all, he a snitch and freaking Tariq shook him down for two million. So what we expect? True. But at the same time, but we thought we Chef. thought he was a bad a when he killed Nuff and killed Chef, and that but, was less. But yeah, that was let. But it was such a letdown. We didn't talk about it last week on on the review. It was such a letdown, man. Because for Mecca to become a snitch, all that build up yeah, to him only becoming a snitch. Yeah, I ain't like and, that at all. Yeah, and now this week you backing out and don't want to kill Lorenzo. I mean, really, that would have been like the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there could have been a little bit of redemption, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like that would have been the oomph that we needed to see out of Mecca. Like, okay, now he a snitch, but at least let him take well, out a dominant force. But I don't know. I don't. They, there's no uh, redeeming from being a snitch. I mean, yeah, it's you can't. Not, you can't come back from that. But at least you could be the snitch of all snitches. <laughs> <laughs> so we see. Uh, we come back now. We had Tariq's dorm, and we can see Tariq, Tariq is stressed out because he's trying to get in touch with Lauren. <laughs> And every time he called Lauren, going to voicemail. He ain't answering, baby. So we see Effie is still there. She's asleep. And while he's trying to get in touch with Lauren, she wakes up like, what is you doing? And Tariq is like, well, you know, I'm still trying to get in touch with Lauren. And she was like, you know that she was the one wearing the wire, but I'm pretty sure she's fine. 
but you can almost tell that Tariq knew that something is something not right. right. So I'm like, are you going to like maybe question Effie about it? Because every time Lauren's name come up, she always deflects she from it. Yeah, she does. Or brings up the wire on you. So it's like, but let's <laughs> pause because it is just so crazy for me. Every time that you see them in a scene together, he's trying to get in touch with old girl yeah. in front of you girl. Yeah. <laughs> you girl are in the bed while he's don't slip out the bed trying to get with old girl to figure out which is she okay. But then y'all having a conversation about old girl. Yeah. Let's just talk about triangles of triangles. <laughs> God damn, Tariq. <laughs> wow. So, Tariq started telling her, it's like, basically everybody that gets around me, always something happens to them. True. Which is true. <laughs> oh, and you do so he, Yeah, so he asked her, like, okay, if something happens to me, please, please promise me that you will look out for my sister Yaz. And she was or like, you, you know, or find my sister Yaz. And she was like, you trust me with that? And he was like, yeah, yeah. Now we fast forward or we see Sax, Tariq, and Davis are at court. And Davis them throw the okie doke on Tariq and oh let them God. let him know that Trace is going to be on the stand. And of course by this time Tariq is panicking. Which because remember, Trace no cane. He knows it all, really. He knows everything. So if Trace get up there on the stand, he's gonna tell it all. So in this scene, uh, uh, to, uh, Davis, I would say he slipped out and let Tariq know that basically he, he knew about knew. the badge that was in the what you call it, in the, in that was playing in the draw by Kane, and Tariq was like, "Well, how, how long, long did you know that?" He's and like, long time. <laughs> so yeah, so by that time he kind of deflected. Tariq was like, "I need to go and talk to Sax because they were trying to strategize on okay if if." Trace gets up there, how can we throw this off? Yeah. And Riley's name came up, and Sax was like, no, oh, hell no. her mama, <laughs> her mama ain't gonna let that happen, because we know what happened with that situation. But, and then, uh, basically, if they brought in Riley, it was gonna basically blow up the whole thing. It wasn't gonna work, because she was gonna be telling a lot too, because she knows a lot. Mm -hmm. So, they get into court, and Jimmy says, my witness, Trace, can't come to court today he's because he's sick. sick. And I was like, what kind of BS is this? I'm like, y'all went through all that and, he, and he ain't coming because he's sick? Right. Bring his sick A to court if y'all trying to win. <laughs> you and know? the first thing I thought was to say, oh, Lord, who don't got to win? Yeah. Who don't who don't pause in there? <laughs> Did his brother do it? Because, you know, he about that life. I was like, Lord, they don't make sure he didn't come to court. So by this time... Brayden walks into court, and you can just see Tariq instantly get scared like, oh, like a hell. mug. And I was like, "Okay, now Brayden, don't get up there. You said you said you act white now, right? You said you're supposed to be a G. You want to be in the game. You ain't supposed to be a snitch. How are we gonna pull this thing off? And my boy, man, listen, he impressed me. He got up there, and he basically told well, he didn't basically. He told the court that he was the one that. That started, <laughs> course correct. He was the drug dealer the that Jabari word. that was was writing about in the book, and he gave him the papers that they signed saying he was the CEO of the company, the president. Yeah, the president of the company. He was like, "It's all me. This is what I've been doing." Because they were trying to yeah. trying to, of course, pin it on the right person, which was Tariq. Yeah, and how they knew each other back in Choke, and how they were roommates, and oh, the same place they had a. Drug ring going on there too. Now all of a sudden there's a drug ring here too, and yeah. and then how did y'all become roommates? Bray was like, oh no, mm -mm, this ain't it. It was me. I'm the pappy. <laughs> I'm the pappy of this of this drug ring here. And, and see, by that time, Davis and uh, Davis and Sax was like, oh shit, they this was is like, working. <laughs> yeah, because the whole time that Trace, not the whole time that Braden was talking, even the judge was getting mad at him, <laughs> like. You need to get yourself together. You try that one more time. But I was like, he's up there telling the truth. I, kind yeah, of, but, yeah. yeah. But he was there. derailing. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like he said, a liar, liar, but it is killing my a case. case. Yeah. <laughs> so Jenny the whole time saying object. And Dave was like, you can't object against your own witness. So Davis came up there was like, this needs to be dismissed. And Jenny was like, no, just give me a few more days to sort. I'm like, no. Nah. Yeah, nah. 
He all he gave you forty eight hours with the with the a recording. He didn't give you no more time. And he and made it so that it can't bring the skit back up. Yeah, and he was like, "Cause this jury ain't gonna go for it." Because <laughs> you and can they see was them, over there they like, was over there like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And so the case was dismissed. So my boy Brady, man, came all you, the way through. Yeah, you can come to the you can come to the cookout with Tommy now, man. Yeah, you ain't gotta yeah. bring nothing. You ain't gotta bring nothing. Yeah, come on over. Yeah, you yeah you good with me? So. We saw that Tariq got the uh, ankle bracelet Shut taken off. off he is a, he head. is a free man. Hey, I just want to bring So now we over at the hangar and we see uh, Mecca and and Zeke. Oh gosh. So Zeke is telling Mecca that basically how I'm gonna be able to trust you if you trust Monet. And I don't trust Monet. Cause Nobody Zeke is done me. with Monet. He really is. <laughs> So Dante tells him basically you still have a spot on the plane if you want. And then he proceeds to tell Zeke, this car is yours. Cause you know when Zeke came in there, he was all impressed by all the cars and the jets. But I was kind of confused. It didn't seem like that was the that, intent. That intent was to get him a car, but it was when he started talking that he don't trust Monet and it looked like he wasn't gonna go with them, he get he offered the car. Yeah. Well, I mean, what 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 y'all think? Do you think he was originally wanting to get him the car, or was that just a little thing to throw Zeke off? Yeah, but I did like what Mecca had to say because I mean, I'm not a parent, so I don't understand, but I kind of do understand. He was trying to tell Zeke like, <clears throat> when it comes to your parents, everything might not be the way that it should be, but at the end of the day, your heart and your being is at the forefront of the decisions that was made, yeah. even though you don't understand it. Yeah. So <laughs> when you have children of your own, maybe you'll understand. That's going to be a lot to have to understand. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That my mama is not my mama. My auntie. My auntie is my, my mama. mama. And then I am, how many years? Six years? Old? Was it six years? Yes, Older like than what I am, you know, messed up all of my opportunities. <laughs> That's going to be a lot to understand. Yeah. But I did like that talk that he gave him was like, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes your parents just do fucked up stuff and you'll understand. And maybe in the by and by you will. But that's what I believe. Like you said, I believe that car was kind of like a here. Here. Yeah. For all your pain, your troubles. Here yeah. you go. Because <laughs> basically we know that Zeke wanted to be in the NBA to have, you know, to have, to have the ends to be able to drive a car like, like that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was, it was perfect. So now we see uh, Kane and uh, Monet. So Monet is going back delivering to Kane what the plan is. And Monet was telling him that Mecca wants you to kill Lorenzo. Like, my he was daddy? like, you want me to kill my daddy? And so she had to make it look like, yeah, this is what we need to do. Um, because you remember, you you were supposed to have been that you know the right hand man, but you know Lorenzo done kick you out and putting in Drew and I putting in Drew. So basically, if you do this, then you get what you want. And it was the manipulation tactic. For yeah, me. like it was narcissism. It was all of that wrapped into one. Like she read down all the stuff that can play on someone's ego yeah. to make them do whatever it is you want them to do. When she was like, he got you beat down yeah. when you went to the prison to visit him. Don't remember, like you said, don't forget that when you came out, he was the one who stopped our supply. So we had to go do what we had to do to even yep. eat. Then when he found a connect, which you found for him, they kicked you out and made your brother piss by his side. And like you said, he was like, but I got this man's name. She was like, furthermore, that's why you should be the one to take him out. Because yeah. then you earn the name for real. I was like, Monet, mm -hmm. Monet, Monet. But I do know some mamas that have that kind of pull on their sons, though. Yeah. Uh huh. That they can legit make them sons do whatever the fuck they want them to do. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. though it don't make no sense. So we see now that uh, Tariq is in Davis' office after the win. And basically, Tariq was like, uh, I need I, I need a refund because <laughs> Braden was the one that got me off, won't you? And I was like, come on, Tariq, that's, a little, said, that's a little stress. Davis had been putting in the work, he did put in to, the work to help you get off. You know, that's just that's like ninjas, like, give uh -huh. me a discount. But uh, <clears throat> Tariq was, because um, Tariq said that the reason why he wanted a discount was because you representing Kane. And as a double lawyer, dipping. you ain't supposed to be double dipping. And and Davis hit him like, well, 
I know you're not going to turn me into the boy because that means that you're going to have to get up there and basically tell what you and Cain did. And, and how you know all this. And how this. you know all this. So I know you ain't going to do that. So I'm keeping the money. The money stays home. <laughs> yeah. So Tariq tells Davis, okay, whatever. I just need you to help me get my sister back. That's what I need now. Okay, we back on this. Yep. Like, leave that little girl with that good family that she with. Because, like you said, everybody that comes around me, they get hurt. Let the little girl go. When, look, she on Instagram. She can find you if she oh, yeah. really want to be in touch with you. On she, Facebook. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm serious. Like, she can have a ghost account. And boom. Y'all can be talking on the, on the low low. You know she good. She, you know... Don't go get that girl. That's all I kept saying. Well, leave your ass alone. <laughs> Give her a chance. So we saw that uh, at this point, Sax is out on the outs with Jenny. Because in court, you know, after oh, they no. after they lost, he came to Jenny and was like, you know, we need to. And she was like, uh -huh. I was like, uh-oh, you done messed up Say them draws. Them draws, them legs is closed close. now. Until we see the scene where she comes to the bar where Sax is. And, she, and he was like, how do you know I was here? He was like, you come here after every win. And I used to too. And so in this scene was when she tells Sax that basically I'm a failure because Lauren is dead. dead. So we found it. We found it. Yeah, because we was wondering last week was she really dead? I figured she was dead. And basically it was she was in tax was like how and she said she was killed in a car accident. Well, he said we need to find the shooter. The shooter. That's right. And he I did. was yeah, like, hold like, on. Wait, now. I said, did you just <laughs> yeah. slip up and give an important piece of information that you weren't supposed to know? But when she said the accident, I said, whew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she like, you know, <clears throat> she kind of feel bad because, you know, she asked about the wire. Did Kane hear the wire? Which we know Kane did not hear the wire. Only Tariq heard the wire. So she's trying to figure out if Kane had something to do with it. Which we know he don't. But, yeah. But so they should feel bad. Because, honestly, Carrie put that girl in the middle of something that yeah. really didn't have nothing to do with her. All because y'all were trying to wrap y'all selves around this case for a, a win. And now you don't got this girl killed. Yep. So, Sax <clears throat> went to tell her, well, like, giving him, giving her his history of, you know, trying to take down ghosts and other people. And he was like, every time, I always took the L. I always took the L. And he was like, you just need to take the L on this one. Jenna was like, booze, get. I ain't doing it. I'm not taking the L. And which I was feeling sad. I was thinking the same thing was like, at this point, just, just, leave, it alone. just leave it alone. Because every time y'all keep doing it, more and more uh, innocent bodies keep dropping because y'all want to get Tariq done. But I did like how Sax said, he was like, I wanted to nail St. Patrick so bad that I legit just drove myself crazy. Because it was going back and forth mm -hmm. about Carrie and whether or not it was really in her to take her own life and all of this. And he was like, listen... When you are a perfectionist and you're a person that's so passionate about what you have done yeah. and your accomplishments, <clears throat> and to be able to have to look failure in the eye is not easy. Yeah. You'll do some dumb stuff. And he was like, I was there. He was like, I planted some stuff. Yep. And then, uh, yep. it, and then I got a gun. <laughs> and he was like, it was bad. He was like, no, unfortunately, <clears throat> fortunately for me, somebody got the same path before I did. But he was like, I could see how Carrie was able to do something like that. Yeah. So that's what really kind of brought Jenny around to this, like, Mm, let's let him back in. And I was like, this is not going to be good for nobody. Yep. It's really not. They good in bed, but when they get to talking. Yeah. <laughs> now we got Tariq and Monet is at the church that they always had a meetings at. So uh, Monet gives Tariq the plan because, of course, they need Tariq's help with setting up Mecca. So here we go again. Every time they think they can turn Tariq loose, they need to pull Tariq back in. But in this scene with her telling Tariq, you know, we need to come up with a plan to kill Mecca, Tariq lets her know that Mecca <laughs> is a snitch. She was like, what? This MF is a snitch? And I said, so you really didn't know? like, Because we actually thought like that last... I thought she was starting to figure it out. Because remember last episode that um, she told Kane to warn Tariq about Mecca. So I thought that after Tariq had... Shook him down for the two million. That I thought maybe he might have called Kane or one of them and sent a text and say, "Hey, by the way, Mac is a snitch." So Tariq didn't do it. So she found out this week, and I was like, "Dang!" Yeah, because she already knew. We already see that she knew wasn't something wasn't right about Mac, mm -hmm. but she just did not know it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So yeah, that took her took her by surprise to find out that he was a global snitch. But here's the thing. I don't know if you're about to go to this part or not. About how then we start getting the crossover of how this is going to happen. Each player has a different position to play. Yeah. But they all are a little different. Yeah. So we're sitting here like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, <laughs> so now we need to read on Kane to make Kane think that he's gonna kill Lorenzo, but yeah. he's not gonna kill Lorenzo. It's only to use Tariq as a distraction to have Kane real there. Yeah. So I'm like, so who's your daddy right now, Kane? Right, and that's right, because back when he was talking to Monet, Monet hit him with, "You need Tariq's help because he already done took his daddy out because." Because Tariq already took his daddy out because at first Kane wasn't going to do it. I forgot, no. but he wasn't going to do it. But when Mode said about that Tariq don't about do it. Tariq did it, he was like, I'll do oh, it. Well, I'll do I'll it. I'll do it. Because you know he always he try to one up Tariq. Yeah. He's in competition with Tariq. Like yeah. Tariq lives rent free in Kane's head. Yeah. <laughs> so we see uh, Mode comes over, back over to the bar. And Lorenzo was over there with a couple of guys. That guy Lido and I don't know who that other dude is. But Monet tells him what the plan is to take down Mecca. And the plan was to make it look like that Kane is going to kill you, but that's not going to be the plan. So Lorenzo was thrown back, was like, wait a minute. So this dude, which is Lido, is it's being sent over here to keep tabs on me. Yes. Yeah. That's why he was so <laughs> eager to give you what to give you his men. Yep. Which didn't make sense because at first we was like, wait a minute, you don't know this dude and you give him yeah, all the men. Which we, which we was looking at him sus even then when he did that. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what the hell? What the hell is but this? But we really thought it was more of a, what does it say? Keep your friends close, but your enemies even closer. Yeah. So I thought it was one of those things. Like, I'm already bucking your girl. So if I give you all the tools to do what you need to do way over there, yeah. you ain't <laughs> interfering with the skit I got going on right here. That's what I really thought before we found out he was snitched. Yeah. So now we see Lorenzo is back at the house talking to Diana and Drew to mm -hmm. let them know what the plan was to basically protect Kane and let them know that they were going to take out Mecca. And so Diana did not trust it because... It did sound yeah, sus. <laughs> yeah, it sounded sus. And Drew was like, well, if if Monet really wanted to kill Poppy, he she had a chance to do it. And Lorenzo is always, he the family guy, was like, family first. We need to, we need to save Kane. So they they did they did go along with it. They so, did, reluctantly. Yeah. So now we back over at Tariq's them dorm. And uh, basically, Tariq is dapping up Brayden, you know, for what he did in court. You owe him more than a dap. Yeah, and I was real. like, yeah. So especially after what Tariq did to him. He did. And I'm still trying to figure out, is this going to be the end? Like, we haven't seen the aftermath of what Tariq did against Brayden just yet. Right. But That's I'm still like, unfolding. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> the Brayden got all these bags out on the, on the bed, and um, Tariq was like, where you going? He said, <laughs> well, my dad took me out of school. <laughs> and I got to go work now, in a I, cubicle. I work in the Cuba at, at the family's hedge fund. But, hey, you know, we, even we, even though course correct shut down, we can get some more product. Yeah, because we, and got we this get this right thing back started. I, I said, said Brady. Brady. <laughs> Brady. For real. For real. This is what we do. Yeah. I said, you just did that. Y'all done got away and you still thinking about trying to. Trying be to still, illegal. Yeah. <laughs> when you don't have to be. Right. So by this time they was talking, Kane walk in and said, "Oh, so I see that y'all still don't <laughs> y'all still, still don't lock no doors." So Tariq tells Kane, "I know why you here, <laughs> that you want to kill your pops." And Tariq told him, "Basically, you need my help. I know you think you know what you're doing, which we know Kane don't know what he's doing." And he was like, "If you fuck this up." Guess what? Mecca is going to kill Diana, Drew, Monet, okay. and all of them in front of you so you can see it and you be the last one left. So you basically need my help. And not only that, Kane, that after you do this, you ain't going to be, be the, the same. same. Because, because Kane was acting like, I'm, I'm down. You know, I'm you know, for this. Ninja, you know who I am. And when Tariq told him that, that you're going to be different, he was like, oh, man. Tariq said, I did it because I had to. Yeah, I did it. I did it to protect, protect my, my family. family. He was like, uh uh, you don't understand. You need me for this. I was like, dang. Yeah. I was like, who's your daddy, Kane? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy for real? <laughs> hmm. 
So now Zeke is still curious now about all this stuff. You know, he's thinking about what Dante said, that you ought to trust Monet. But we can see that he still don't trust Monet, Monet because he goes Shit. down to the station. I said, why? Yeah, and why? talks to Detective Whitman to confirm if Carrie. Carrie's death was, was a really a suicide. So, of course, we know Detective uh, Whitman is not going to just sell the place. It was like, well, is why there, are you here? Is there something you want to tell, tell me? me? He was like, no. I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure. So, that was Zeke trying to confirm whether or not if Monet killed no, the that person. was Zeke bucking it up again. Yeah, that. But he was checking to see if what she was saying checked out. Did she really commit suicide? <laughs> Just believe it at that. So now we see uh, Tate. They had is that this uh, area, and Tate comes over with his <laughs> with his brown liquor, and basically shakes Sweeney down. And Sweeney was like, "Well, I don't care. This was a this was a Halloween party years ago. Years ago, BS." It don't, don't matter. You still, you your, still did it. Don't come <laughs> over here with your Black Lives Matter stuff yeah. and don't do that. So he was like, you know what, Tate? Let's go ahead and put it out there. And six months, people are going to forget about it. But now, nah, what you call it? I can't think of his name right now. Yeah, I can't either. Yeah, I told him like, no. We're going to need you to give a statement and then tell him you're going to step down and Rashad Tate is basically going to take, take your, your spot. <laughs> So he was like, yeah, you can recover from this. But he was like, this is going to be your position. This is what you're going to have to do. This, it, yep. it ain't going to be cute. So it'll be better for you to make a statement just and just fade to the back. Yeah. <laughs> so now we see Kane is over there talking to Mecca and telling Mecca that basically you you lied to me. You know, you knew, you knew everything all along. You lied about Monet. You lied that, you know, that Zeke was your son. I cannot trust you. Mecca was like, listen, I push dope and weapons. That's all I do. <laughs> That's what I do. And that part I have done. All that other stuff, you don't need to know my business. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to know that those two things I do well and I do them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> my house alarm going off. <laughs> <laughs> so by this time, we see that uh, Monet walks in and tells uh, Mecca that Zeke and Diana and Drew them ain't gone, which we already know that's not the truth, it's the plan. So Dante was like, you know what, we just gonna delay our departure mm -hmm. <laughs> until and give Zeke just a little bit more time to come on to, to come and come go with him. Around. But I'm like, I don't know at this point if Zeke really gonna come because He's Zeke, trying to figure things out. Yeah, he putting it all together. Alright, and then we see Mecca goes over to the table, picks up the tracker, because we know that He's still tracking Tariq on that bag. And he see that Tariq is supposedly still be at school. But and, we know what he did. But he forwarded the call so it make it look like he's still at the school. But he, um, Mecca tells Tariq that, hey, meet me at the spot so I can give you what you were due or what I promised you. And then we see Tariq end up talking to the estate lawyer again. Alvin. And, Alvin, yeah. <laughs> and by our surprise... That he was able to stop the adoption said, and everything got know. turned back over to Tariq. And I was like, Why? wow. I was like, that happened fast. But yeah, TV think, time is a mumble fan. Right. But think about it in hindsight, the reason why the whole thing was destroyed was, was because, because he case. got arrested. So now it got dropped. So basically, I guess it just picked back off where it left but off. But you know, at. my first thought was, okay, hold on. The only way that you got her was the conditions were met that you had a job. A place to stay. Yeah. And you ain't got any of that <laughs> right the now. The place you were staying at was Lauren's yeah. brother's place. Her dead now. You don't know that yet. But yeah. I'm like, I told you, leave yeah, the girl where she at. Leave her where she at. So, speaking of, so when he was talking to the estate lawyer, the state lawyer said, somebody else needs to see you, and here comes Sax. I said, and Tariq's like, what the fuck are you doing here, Sax? I said, more charges. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when Sax tells Tariq that Lauren is dead. And you can see he just destroyed, like, dang, man. And so Tariq was like, so you, to ask Sax, so you come here, you think I did it? 
he was like, well, I know now you didn't. No, yeah, you could tell on Tariq's face he didn't do it. And then, of course, in Sack's likeness, what, do you think Kane to had anything to do with it? Tariq was like, I, Tariq, I got to no, go. I got to go. I got to go right he, now. He, he, ain't, he ain't fitting the snitch. Tariq ain't had another snitch. He won't go on snitch. Mm-hmm. And Davis already took and told you, stop, stop trying to get our clients to admit the truth. We don't care about the truth. Our job is for our clients to go free. free. <laughs> <laughs> so we see uh, Sachs goes over to um, Davis' office. And it looked like Davis done did a, a, a nice little renovation in there. You know, he don't got $4 million. Yeah. So, yeah, the place looking nice. I ain't gonna change out the seats. <laughs> don't put his little emblem and all that on the screen. Yeah, look nice. Uh-huh. So, that's uh, what we do. So, Sax tells Davis that Lauren is dead. And he like, what the? But Sax was trying to make it look like it was Davis' fault because Davis let Tariq hear the wire. And Sax was like, well, did Kane hear the wire too? And Dave was like, no, you don't put this BS on me. And first of all, don't you try to come in here and judge me because you I do what you. I got to do to protect my clients just like you. I'm a survivor just like <laughs> you. So don't I you sit here yeah. and judge me. So I was like, yeah, I'm like, why that you is come, true. Like, why is you coming here like this, all this BS that you done done, Sax, and people you done thrown under the bus so that you won't take the L? True. Yeah. So that's, that's what Davis told him. So Davis began to ask him about his... Uh, I can't can't think his name is I think his brother that's in jail, and his brother was like you know he uh, Sax was like well, it looks like he didn't have anything to do with it. it looked like the manslaughter was done by somebody like else four inches taller than him because we was wondering what the hell did him and, and Davis brothers. do yeah so it, uh, it appears that they killed somebody yeah so Davis was like well why is he still behind bars. He's like, no, I'm working on it. He's like, well, I still, I need, I still need just a little bit more time. And then later on in the episode, we see where Davis had went um, down to the prison and was telling him that basically Sax was still working on it. And this part right here really, you know, really, I'm gonna just say, bless me. It always does. Yeah, and he was like, you know what? Don't push that white boy too hard because I don't want to trade places. I would not let you trade places with me and you coming in here. And I was, was like, like, the doctor said I don't have much time like, left. Yeah. And I'm like, what's going on? Like, yeah, I want to know what's going on with him. But yeah, he's like, you stay out there and do what you got to do. But I'm that's lo- that's loyalty they're told, man. That's loyalty. I'm man. trying to tell you. And, yeah. and everything in me says that they are like that in real life. So that's what makes it so Yeah. Cool. It just makes me smile when I see them right. two on film together because they <laughs> really are friends. Yep. So we see Tariq is back at the dorm telling Effie that Lauren is dead. So he was like, you know what? I thought that I wanted to get custody, but you know what? Every person that comes in my in my life ends up dead. Mm-hmm. So I need to maybe find Yaz a better family to stay with. And I was like, I so, totally agree. Thank you. <laughs> I totally finally. I totally, totally agree. So they gave us a surprise this week. We was not expecting to see Tasha. Tasha looked good. Yeah, she's up there looking good. She in there. They got her a MacBook and everything. She up in there. Uh, Chilling. It looks depressing, though. Yeah, it does, <laughs> to be separated from everybody. But she was in there doing it, and then by this time, she could hear a car driving up, and so she texted um, this guy named Marshall, like a car drove up. So she went in the drawer and grabbed a piece, and somebody knocks at the door, and I was like, oh, hell, like, I who said, is well, this? wait a minute. Let's, let's back this train up. You mean to tell me you got a woman in witness protection in the middle of nowhere in this cabin in the woods yeah. and y'all don't have a ring doorbell or nothing no so cameras, that she yeah. can see what's going on on right. the outside? <laughs> you yeah. gonna be lucky she <laughs> ain't fall off. You leave her with a gun but no ring doorbell? Because like, I think I would have started shooting at the door. Me too. I would have been bop, 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 bop. The way I'm set up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she go and check the blind and it's Tamika. What I that's, that's, that's what she was like. You know what you doing here? And the only thing that got her to answer that door was she called her by her name. Yeah. Her new name. So when she goes to the door, it's Tasha's. Um, so Tasha tells her. Tamika. I meant Tamika. Oh, I say Tasha. Because it's the T's again. So we know Tamika is there to bring Yaz. And I was like, yes. Finally. Finally, they back together. But I said, how the hell did this happen? Yeah, how. Yeah, they, they were like, because I was like, Tariq was supposed to have been getting up. Like, so how did it get switched over to, to where now 
she's over here in the cabin in the woods with her mama. Yeah. Like, what happened here? Boom. So Tamika tells Tasha, this can happen, but there is a catch. That you cannot talk to this guy named Tariq. It's a, it was so like weird. Like third person. Yeah, talking to third person. Like so weird. So we found out that <clears throat> that Yash's name is changed to Olivia, Olivia. And Tasha's is Vanessa. Vanessa. And like I said, she cannot talk to Tariq. And uh, Tasha tells Tamika, okay, well, whatever, but... Make sure you don't underestimate Tariq because he can surprise you. And she said, who is that? Uh, yeah, who is that? <laughs> and um, he already has. So Jazz and, and uh, Tasha was hugging, and she looked over at the truck. And I said, I said yeah, she knows Tariq is in that truck. And he wanted to get out so He wanted so to get out. Bad. Yeah, he wanted to get out. So I would have wanted to get out. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> just put your hand through the, at the window. Just let her see your palm print. Like something. But I was like, she kept looking at the truck, and I kept saying... Maybe she could see his reflection in the back seat through the mirror, the yeah. mirror or something. Yeah. But I didn't rewind it back to to verify that or not. But I, that would have been a cute little little mm, that they yeah, could have gave was us. Dope. If yeah. it, it might have been, I just didn't go back to look. So while Tariq and Sax was in the truck, uh, Sax let you know Tariq had asked Sax about Dante Spears, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, he's a global informant." <laughs> but yeah. we come to find out that. Sax said that Ghost, on the way that Ghost was investigated, was because of Dante. So it, so Sax made it look like Angela was a part of um, the plan Dante's with plan. Dante's plan to take down Ghost. And I said, wait, wait, wait. But it, but the whole time I kept thinking back that Tommy kept telling Ghost leave Angela alone because she was a rat. But he couldn't. He just couldn't leave her alone. <laughs> so he was the, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a lot to unpack, but we're not yeah. going to unpack it. But yeah. I'm like, whoa. Like, whoa. So that was good information to know. So Tariq was sitting there like, okay. So his snitching went deep. His snitching went deep, and that's how, and literally. I say at one point, it had so many people was after him that they, you they had know, to revoke his assets to the United yeah, States. Yeah, it was like, dang. Dang, Dante. Come on, Dante. All right, so now we see uh, Drew, Diana, and Lorenzo that basically now the plan is put in place. Mm -hmm. uh, Drew gives him the fake bag. Everything gets into play. But when they were over there talking, we noticed that somebody was off in the distance spying on them, mm -hmm. which was Lido. So basically Lorenzo's assumption that this dude was sent to do tabs on him, we find out that it was true. So we see that they got the plan, they got the plan in motion, and Drew tells Diana, <laughs> take the bag. What, take the bag. But, but whatever you do, don't look in the bag. She was like, I got it, I'm not gonna look in the bag. He said, Diana, don't look in the bag. She is not gonna listen. She gonna look in that bag. We all knew she was yeah. gonna look in the bag, but I honestly thought that her looking in the bag was part of the plan. I didn't yeah. know that they really didn't really want her to look in the bag. But I'm still trying to figure out, Rudy, is it really a part of the plan? But I'll talk about that in a minute. I can say the yeah. way it panned out, it wasn't a part of the plan. But we see uh, Zeke is back over there with the detective. And the detective shows him a picture from a camera that was like two blocks away from Carrie's house. From Carrie's house. And Zeke was looking, was like, uh, well, the reason why she was there, she was coming to pick me up. But I changed my mind. And I went to go and see I Carrie. And I went to go see Carrie. So at that point, That's Zeke all knew that Monet up. was the one that had something to do with Carrie's death. And he and gave you to put her on the radar for the, for this murder. And he gave the he he came out there, he gave the faces when he was walking out there and in the car. I was, I was like, poor Zeke, man. Come on. That's all the memes that's been going about Zeke. The, the one with Monet and Mecca. And he was in the, in the, in the, in the stroller. In the stroller. Down there. <laughs> <laughs> Say, poor Zeke, man. But I actually <sighs> thought that um, Zeke was going to pull off and get in a car accident. The way that he was. Yeah, well, he was, yeah. yeah. yeah he going to be crying and just speeding off. And yeah, that's, that's what I thought, too. Mm -hmm. All right, now we see Tariq and Kane pull up at the spot to go and kill Lorenzo. They were in there, get ready to set up, and Kane was about to shoot Lorenzo, and Tariq hit him with the okey-doke, like, ho, 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 they, they know you're here. 
And the K was like, what? what? He was like, nah, it's just all a setup. You ain't that, supposed to kill him. Yeah, you ain't supposed to kill him. It was the plan to make you think that you was going to kill Lorenzo because if you went back to Mecca and he found out that you wasn't, he was going to kill you. So they had, Casey, so we had, what? <laughs> he was like, don't worry about it, but we here to kill Mecca's people. So, so come on, let's do it. <laughs> Like, that is a motherfucker yeah. in the middle of it. <laughs> so, so Mecca guys was looking off in the distance and looking at the bag. was like, we need to check that check Mecca's bag. So they go to check the bag. Like, oh, it's a fake. That's when the shootout starts. So they end up killing all of them uh, in that warehouse. And then we saw that after they killed them all, we saw that Lorenzo picked up dude's phone and he could see the conversation back between uh, Mecca and this dude. And basically that he was going to be, one of them was taking care of Drew and one of them was taking care of Kane. Mm -hmm. So that was Lorenzo's confirmation right there yeah, that, it was really that, that it was happening that, yeah, this dude was about ready to kill my family. And by this time, Mecca was checking the text like, this dude ain't hit me back that it's, that it, that it's done. So something up. So we see uh, Mecca picks up the phone and he calls somebody and say, hey, my cover has been blown. Then he goes around and tells Monet hey, there's a delay because my jet <laughs> ain't got the fuel yet. And so let's tell Tariq to meet us over here. So text him real quick. So text him real quick. She said, all right, I got you. And I was like, is this going to derail the plans? Like, we switching up too much? And this yeah, like, like it's going to mess everything up. And we see that Monet got her piece and she ready to do the job. <laughs> so you really ready, though? Murray, you say, ready? Come on now. Then we see Drew... <laughs> Drew and Everett, because early in the episode, Everett had text Drew saying that I need to, I really need to talk to you tonight. It's an emergency. I knew what that was about. Yeah. Man. So what happened was he was asking about his badge. Like, did you steal my badge? Because it was reported back that my badge was actually went into a restricted area. And of course, we know last episode that yeah, Drew stole it and went upstairs to get the steal of drugs. But Drew didn't let him know the truth. And Drew was like, I didn't have anything to do with it. But we'll talk about it later because Drew um, Everett said, hey, I, I need to go to practice. But once again, we have Drew not listening and going along with playing. Like, you're in the middle of a major execution. Yeah. And you allow a text message from your boyfriend to, to make the, you derail go you, yeah. to a, somewhere else and deal with that. And it almost cost you your life. Yep, because Lito then was sitting right over there waiting for Everett to leave. And they took their shot. Because at this point, you know, uh, Drew didn't know that Lito was not on their team. Because Drew was like, so you working with Mecca? He was like, like yeah. Yep. He was like, why would I work with the distro when I can work with the connect? <laughs> Good point. Good point. So they they had they I actually thought they was gonna kill Drew. I was I like, too. I was like, but they man, were. yeah. I mean, they were, but I thought they were gonna kill Drew. But by this time, when Drew were fighting, was they was whooping his tail. Hickam came to the rescue, Bow. and it what I say, if it wasn't for Kane, you I think here. yeah, Drew would have been gone this episode. I really thought that that was gonna be the major kill. I was like, oh, yeah. hell no, hell no, not Drew. Yeah. <laughs> so we saw after, you know, the fight that Lito was still trying to get up and try to get to the car. And and Drew came over there. He was ready to pull the bullet. And I was like, before Kane said, no, no, no. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, it's too no, loud. It's, it's too loud. You know, first of all, you're right there by the car. So all the evidence going to look, I mean, like, no, nah, you can't. Don't shoot him right here. Yeah. This is not the place. So Drew, uh, Kane was like, you know what? We're going to take and put him in put the him trunk. Put him in the trunk. Say, daddy need to see this. <laughs> So we back at the house with Lorenzo and Diana. So Lorenzo walks in there and asks about everybody. Has everybody done their part? And Diana lets him know everybody did their part until they got to Monet. And she was like, uh, Poppy, let me get you something to eat. And he was like, what do you know? What's he? So he, she goes and says, she tells him, like, you know, everybody think I'm a snitch. And, Cause and, you I, are. and he told him, like, ain't no daughter of mine's a snitch like you are. You told on, you told it <laughs> all, so you are. <laughs> he said, that just means you're a leader. You're a step ahead yeah, of everybody. everybody you, like, you nah. look out for, you manipulating the hell out of her. Yeah. Like, like, no name manipulates the hell out of Kane. Right. So he basically pulls it out of her, and he was like, let me know. Because he was like, I know you looked in the bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> yeah, you looked in there. So she tells him, yeah, I looked in the bag and I seen a passport for Drew, 
for Kane, accounts for accounts for me and uh and Monet. And by this time, you can see on Lorenzo's face like, right. oh, skit. They done set me up <laughs> and making me think that I'm a part of this plan. But the whole time they playing me, that when this is all over with, y'all plan on skipping the country. That's He didn't say that, but you can see that look on his face like, right. this is what y'all get ready to do. Because so I would have thought it. So he said, I'm going to do this. My dad going to say Yep, I'm going, I'm going to take care of this. We see Lorenzo goes over there to where Mecca's plane is getting ready to take off. And he sees a guy. Get out the Porsche, and he like, Ooh. oh Mecca, you are not Is getting no away. No passenger. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh no no no. I'm like, I was like Lorenzo, please check to make sure who that is before you take the shot, which we know was it was yeah, Zeke. Zeke. And I was like, did Zeke change his mind? Because I'm like, I thought after he saw that Monet was the one that had something to do with Carrie. I didn't think he was going to come to get on the plane. Or was he coming to confront them? Yeah. You think he was coming to yeah. confront them? Yeah. He was coming to confront. And Lorenzo shot him, man. I, and I Let's wasn't I wasn't no. expecting for no. Zeke, man, to die I like that. I was expecting him, but not like that. I thought it was going to be a car accident. Yeah. So I was like, oh, man. This is way worse. <laughs> this is way worse. But the bad part is we ain't going to get the faces no more, man. That's over, so we get back next season, we ain't gonna have the Zeke the, Zeke the Freak faces no more. Hey, the internet lives forever. Man. Yeah, we, we got so we got enough memes. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and he gave us some on this episode, too, sitting there calling. <laughs> <laughs> so we see by this time, all at the same time, we see Tariq is coming into the penthouse to come up. So Tariq is coming up in the elevator, and we can see that... Uh, Mecca got his gun ready to kill to kill uh kill Tariq once he come up. But by this time, Monet pulls out her gun, was like, no, you the one that's going down. And he was like, Nay, nay. Yeah. But she started she was hesitating. She was hesitating, and I thought and he I was, was gonna talk yeah, her out I of thought, it. I thought either he, she he was gonna talk her out of it or he was gonna get close enough to yeah. snatch the gun yeah. out of her hand and hit her upside the head. Uh-huh. I did too. So Tariq coming up the elevator, you have pop. So I was like, okay. Oh, what she happened? did it. She did it. She I took. Mean, she put it. She took Dante out. But I, like I said at the beginning of the review, it's the whole Mecca character is still a letdown. And even even with Monet killing him, it was like, okay, it was okay. It wasn't like, wow. Yeah. You know, it didn't yeah. blow up. It didn't blow me away. It didn't. Yeah. So I, <sighs> like, I think they got it wrong when it came to who killed who. Because yeah. that would have made it more explosive to me. Yeah. So it was like, okay, yeah, she did it. Okay. okay. That's cool. <laughs> What's put next? Put it in the bag. <laughs> All right. So now we see everybody is back at home. And on the news, we can see the news uh, lady was was talking about Dante being dead. And everybody was like, Monet, you did it. You actually came through it. But we saw Lorenzo face like, like no, she did not. Cause Lorenzo it. thought he killed yeah. <laughs> Mecca. So at this point, he still really don't know who he shot. But, but I think he, he I think he know who he shot. But it's like, oh hell, did I did I really? Because now everybody is looking for Zeke. Cause now it's yeah. time to eat, and everybody's looking at this empty seat. Like, where is Zeke? Anybody heard from Zeke? No, nobody's. Like everybody has showed up at their respected times, except yeah. for Zeke. <clears throat> And then got doing it. So, uh, and before we talk about that, we yeah. saw, we, we back over at Mecca House and we see Blanca. And we believe in the telephone call that, that Mecca was making was to Blanca to let Blanca know that he was being that compromised. His, his, yeah. <laughs> because the lady, the lady came over and said, um, um, condolence to my CI. I don't know what that means because I don't know law enforcement. So I, maybe that kind of helped us figure it out. But yeah, I was gonna say we can Google what CI is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I really don't care. It, it, it don't even matter. But the queen looked it up. Confidential informant is what CI is. Yeah, yeah. So we see Blanca is uh, the lady brought Blanca over uh, a a photo th a photo because Blanca was looking for the tapes and she was like all this high tech gear and you ain't seen nobody on camera, okay. but white it's been clean. white because you know Effie taught Tariq how to do it. And she see, she said, "Well, I got this picture, but it's a little fake, a little uh, a little grainy, lo little grainy." And but she noticed that it was Tariq, and she was like, "Tariq, Tariq St. Patrick. Patrick." I said, "Lord, we, here we go again. meet again." again. <laughs> I, 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 
I, I still don't know why in the world Jenny still keep trusting Sax. We see them in the bed and... Because she got him. Sax tells her that, you know what, we're going to work together now and we're going to get justice for these cases. And I'm like, Jenny, you, you're going to sit there, you're going to listen to Sax. You know how he wrote. He fucking you and taking the information that y'all talking to in pull talk and taking it back in court and giving it to Davis. Now, all of a sudden, you trust that he's going to help you with these cases? For some reason, I believe him this time. I don't like, believe, I believe him. That, I, don't. I believe that he don't got so good with her that he like her so much that now he he don't care about the L's no more. He just want to, he just want to, what was the title? Love and War? I don't know. I think he choose to love I, now. I, 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 I don't know. I Fall don't know. in love. <laughs> we choosing money over love. I can't wait for P Valley to come back on. Me too. I can't wait. But we see Tate, you know, his arrogant oh tail. He done went out and he already done made his death sign with his name on it. And Kamal was like, you dumb A, you got to run for that. They ain't fitting to hand that over to you. And plus you made me lose my job. Yeah, because oh. we I didn't know that he lost his job behind what happened in court. I just thought he might have got a got slap like on that. the wrist and he still got his but job. But he's black. You know they would have got rid of him quick. <laughs> so... Takes, uh, so Kamal was like, you know, I'm on him down here because you told me you had something to show me. And Tate tell him, like, you know what? I want you to be the head of my security. He said, work for you? Work for you? You think I'm dumb or something? But he was saying it like he won't going to do it. But you can tell on his face that, yeah, yeah he was going to work because he, <laughs> he need a yeah, job. He need a job. You need he, some good benefits. Yeah, he need a job, so he going to do it. So the question is, when Tate runs, is he going to win? Or somebody else gonna come along as ruthless as he is to run against him, and he gonna end up in the same spot that he was with Ghost. again. Yeah, with Ghost. Yeah, because Ghost came in and just threw a monkey wrench in his little plane. Yep. <laughs> so now we see that uh, Yaz and <clears throat> Yaz and Tasha are, are having looks like dinner, and Yaz yeah. said, "Hey, I got something for you, Mama," and gives her a letter. She's like, "Who's that from?" She, she said, "I think Tariq." And in the letter, Tariq was saying that basically, I'm not giving up. And that I'm going to find out where y'all are. The only thing I need is some money right. and power. And I was like, we already knew that Tariq wasn't going to give up trying to but get. But I'm like, how you get the lot of your ass? And I think yeah. it's from Tariq. You think? Like, well, well, maybe he gave it to her when they was in the truck. We just going to assume. We just going to assume that he, yeah, that, she, that he gave it to her when she was in the truck. So back at the Tejada house, they having dinner. <laughs> and Lorenzo sitting there looking like a sick puppy. Because mm -hmm. he know he bucked up. And Monet, she's stressed out. She's drinking her brown liquor. And she looks over at the seat that was Zeke at. But you could tell that that mama's instinct was going yeah, like, I know something, something right. ain't right with my baby. So by this time, the phone rings. And, and, said, oh, and you really saw Lorenzo's face really break down. And so she go and answer the phone. And Detective Whitman and Detective Whitman let her know that Zeke Cross is dead. Is dead. And all you saw was it was faded to black. Yeah. And I said, no, 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 we need to come back because yeah. we need to see this motherfucker. Uh, we need face. to see her go and ask Lorenzo because Lorenzo wasn't supposed to have been, Lorenzo was supposed to have been at the house. Yeah. So when he came back home, she was like, where you been? Where you been? Yeah. So she still didn't get a straight answer out of him. So I'm wondering, is she going to automatically, when we come back next season, is she going to automatically just be like, did you have anything to do with Zeke death? And especially with Zeke being dead on Mecca's plane. But then again, she might think Mecca's men did it. Yeah, he might be able to to yeah, he might be able to float underneath for that for a minute. But if she ever finds out that Lorenzo killed her son. Oh, it's over. It is done. Yeah, it's over. It is a done deal. Even though, because she's not going to believe that it was a mistake. But still, they still might be a done deal, even <clears throat> though she don't took care of Mecca. You also was sleeping up on Nifa this man. Yeah. So it so, might be one so of the So what's the plan like, going forward? Because the whole body. plan, Monet's plan was to get out the game. Yep. And her way out was through Mecca or through Zeke. And both of them were dead. Both of them. <laughs> and so, I said, well, <clears throat> your daddy wanted you to fly off with him. You flew off with him, huh? And then not only that, <laughs> Tariq wanted to get out the game, but now because Monet killed Mecca before he got his, his two money. million, so now Tariq told her, like, well, we in this thing together because you ain't got no connect. And so I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money, so we got to still work together. I saw that. 
<laughs> wow. Yeah, that part. So yeah, I I still stand again. It was a very good um finale. It just didn't give me it all. It wasn't the pow pow. Yeah, it was it didn't leave me like, what? Yeah. But it was, was like, it was real good. So y'all get down in them comments. Let us know what y'all thought about the, uh, this episode of Power. And we're gonna catch y'all in Power Force, straight from VA. The dirty dirty side. Two up, two down. Holla boom.